This is a progress report on how Australia is going in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. The Sustainable Development Goals are a series of goals that Australia and all countries have signed up to, to set targets for the world we want in 2030, so that we're economically prosperous, socially fair, and environmentally sustainable. In 2018, we did a, an analysis of Australia's progress on achieving the goals entitled Transforming Australia. And now two years later, we're updating that analysis so that we get the latest data and especially take account of the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. There are no other reports like this for Australia. Some other countries are doing this, but there's no report like this that for Australia sets out what our targets are for 2030 and how we're going in achieving them. We know from the last report that we're going well in some areas, but badly in others. So this is a chance to really get an updated view of where we're on track and where we're off track. Anyone who's concerned about Australia's future should read this report, but particularly those in government who are designing policies and investments for the future can use the data in this report to see where we're going well, where we're not going well, and where we have to invest and change. Business, I think, have a real interest in this report. More and more businesses are now using the Sustainable Development Goals to assess their performance, their ESG performance. And many businesses are seeing the goals now as a way to identify opportunities for their business. And so by seeing where Australia is progressing, those businesses will be in a much better position to understand their own sustainability performance. Then I think the general community has a real interest also because all of us now in this really difficult recovery period from the COVID are thinking what Australia will be like in 2030. How can we build back better after COVID? And by seeing how we're going in our progress on the goals, we're going to be much better positioned to plan for the future. It's very important that we have the latest data, especially given the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID pandemic is affecting all levels of society. It's affecting jobs, employment, it's affecting women, it's affecting fairness, it's affecting mental health. So all of these areas, we need to have the best data about how we're performing. And we need that also to determine how we can build back better. And so this report will inform policymakers, it will inform business, and hopefully the public discussion about how we build back better from the COVID pandemic. The report does indicate that we're doing very well in Australia in some areas. Life expectancy continues to get longer. Uh, more and more Australians are getting tertiary education. We're seeing from our response to the COVID-19 pandemic that we can do some things very well when we rely on the best evidence and on the science. And yet the report also highlights that we've really done very little to improve in our carbon emissions and climate change. And generally our environmental performance is poor. And I think this demonstrates that where we're doing well, it's because we're relying on the evidence, the best data. And this report can help contribute to that. And hopefully it will mean that in these other areas where we aren't doing well, like climate change and the environment and the increasing wealth inequality, we can get the best data and use it to plan better for the future. I hope that this report will lead to a more informed public discussion. I hope that it will let us focus on the future, to have a real conversation about the future, about the next five or 10 years, rather than just focusing on the next six months. 
too much of the debate in Australia is the short term. But the five, the 10 year period is gonna be what really counts for us and for our families. And we're only gonna get that right if we understand how we're going, we use the best data and we use that for our planning. So I hope this report is a conversation starter, but also a conversation informer. Well, in my experience, if you don't have goals, you don't do much. Like goals do drive action by government, they drive action by business and the community. They also mobilize people to work together around a common target. The sustainable development goals cover the economy, they cover society, and they cover the environment. They cover all the things that we really want for a healthy society. And so it makes sense for us to use those goals as the framework for our plans for the next decade and for our plans as we recover from the COVID-19 pandemic.